Welcome into the Beardos Podcast, brought to you by 1675 and Maggie's on the Waterfront. Uh, my name is Corey, and I'm sitting here with Chad, and we're going to give you a little bit of a recap. Love that. that was a good pop. That was a good pop. Give you a little bit of a recap of the uh, Eagles preseason game against the Browns. Uh, Chad was there live in person, so we get a firsthand account from him. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I have some explanations for haters and uh, all that good stuff. We are. What do you mean by explanations for haters? <laughs> well, um, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Been a lot of fucking. And I knew it, dude. As soon as it was happening, I'm going, oh, man, we're going to hell for this, dude. Like, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> did you watch any of the game or any recap or anything like that? Did no. you read any, like, Twitter stories? Uh, I, no. Basically, <clears throat> all I saw was Mario to suck dick. And yes. that's pretty much all I took away from it. Yeah, oh, he, I was right behind him, and he, I was giving him shit, bro. <laughs> he took his helmet off. I'm like, put it back on. <laughs> fucking screaming. We're like, put in the key. <laughs> yeah, like, we were fucking giving him shit. We were sitting one on one, fifty yard line, right behind okay, the nice. benches. So we we had we were they were right there the whole time. Mm-hmm. I almost had. Uh, I know he heard me because it was quiet. There was nothing going on. Kelsey's walking by. He's really close to the fucking wall. Okay. And we're only a couple rows back. So I'm like, Kelsey, I know he hears me, dude. Uh-huh. And I'm like, he doesn't look. And I'm like, but I can see like kind of made it, like a little head gesture. Sure. I was like, my beard is better than yours. <laughs> I started fucking straight through that. Like everybody, because he was so quiet, dude. Yeah. Like everybody started cracking up laughing. And uh, he wouldn't look though. <laughs> He probably has a nicer beard than me, but I just I couldn't think of nothing else to say. I'm like, <laughs> I wish he looked at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wanted to get a picture of like him and Lane, but they weren't. Really, there really wasn't a lot of fan interaction. Yeah, there usually isn't at the at the preseason games. Like the open practices, mm-hmm. there was a ton of it. Well, uh, we Jesse was not having that. Okay, Cause you know Jesse's got balls, dude. Like, yeah. you know, we go to the Eagles game, the Phillies games, and he's like almost on the field. <laughs> like screaming for people, uh-huh. like you know, waiting to get signatures, and sure. I told him, I was like, "Buddy, I've never seen it happen. I don't think you're going to do it. I don't think you're going to get AJ Brown's signature because, right. like, he's like AJ Brown's biggest fan. Okay, <clears throat> you know, maybe not anymore, but <laughs> he was. <clears throat> yeah, he is. He 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 does idolize him. He loves AJ Brown. Okay, so uh, he's screaming. He's like, "That there he is! There he is! There he is! He's like right next to Smitty. I see him. He's got a hat on. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm like." I thought AJ. I'm looking. Over, I was like, "Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is AJ Brown." And so he's going by. He's like, "Can I yell at him?" I'm like, "Hey, go ahead." Like you know. So he's yelling, but it's not like traveling far enough. Sure. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like, "I'll help you." So we're both screaming, and he does. He looks up, and you know, like he just kind of like you know looked up. He looked right at us. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Like it was obvious looking right at us. Right. And Jesse's like, "Ah, oh, what's up, man?" And like, I think he had like I, I I bought him that that big like pimp chain. Mm-hmm. Oh, the thing, yeah. so he, maybe he couldn't see the number, but Jesse's like trying to like, like point right. to his chest he's and got his jersey, right? Yeah, and then he yeah. looks at him and he's going to sit down and he's looking up at us, you know, and he has this like kind of cocky look on his face, or whatever. But like, well, he's a wide receiver, yeah, <laughs> you know. And then he just like, you know, and then sits down. And where I thought it was smug, but uh, it made Jesse's fucking day. He's uh, like, yeah. oh, he acknowledged well, me, dude. Cool. Like he was so he, he's like, oh my god, like so he's like, can I do it again? I do it. Again? I was like. Oh, whatever. I was like, listen, you get his attention. When he turns around, I'll make he, he asked me if I could. He's like, Can I just like, you know, I you know, can you hold my chain and this and that? And I'm like, just hold your jersey up and I'll make the gesture and see if I'll sign it. And uh so he gets his attention again a couple of times. You can tell he's like trying to ignore him, you know. Yeah. He's like, Can I go down there? I'm like I oh, like down to the rail. Yeah. I'm like, go for it. So he goes down, he asks the security guard, he's like, you know, can I Yelled at AJ Brown. The lady's like, "Yeah, go ahead. You know, you can yell at him." He's down there. Dude, he had no voice. Like, but he's, <laughs> you know, giving it his all, right? Yeah. And this is where I'm kind of a little pissed off, right? It's a dude. It's a work hold on a for second. That. All right, all right. Hold on. All right, all right. The entire section was uh-huh. invested in him getting oh, AJ no Brown's way. autograph, bro. They're <laughs> chanting, "Sign his jersey!" Uh-huh. Like, AJ Brown turns around, looks at him, and and Jesse was like, "Can you sign it?" And he was like, "I." I thought I read his lips. I'm going to tell you right now before I really roll you under the bus too bad, buddy. I thought I read his lips saying, I can't. Uh-huh. But the security guard and somebody else he talked to, he talked to the security guard and Jesse and everybody in the front row yeah. thought he said, not now, after the game. Okay. So the security guard called Jesse back down and said, 
A.J. Brown said he'd sign your jersey after the game. So she said, you can sit in the front row, watch the rest of the game, uh-huh. and when the game's over, he'll come over and sign your jersey. So now, like, the word's spreading. <laughs> Kids are coming around with brown jerseys on. Yeah. Like, this other little girl comes up, and she's like, like, oh, I have an extra Sharpie. Gives him a Sharpie, like, mm-hmm. you know, and then um, he's excited. And this is, like, end of the third quarter. So for like 20 solid fucking minutes, right, he's right. just counting the minutes, watching the clock. <laughs> he goes out to the fucking thing. And he was there the whole time. And you know what I mean? Like he was like, right. This is what, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into it. Maybe I'm like schizophrenic a little bit. But he's like writing on the whiteboard and like showing other people. And they're like laughing and shit, whatever. So, and then when the game was over, he went out in the center of the field like everybody did. And then they're like, where the hell did AJ Brown go? Like you see other people walking off. Smitty walks off. Quez Watkins walks off, and then you see this guy with a towel over his head, just kind of like strutting off the field. Right, and I'm like, motherfucker, man, <laughs> you motherfucker, you broke this kid's heart, bro. This section was going, AJ, fucking sign it. They were so pissed, dude. Like everybody was like, are you kidding me? Like again, I, maybe I read his lips wrong, but Jesse, and maybe it wasn't intentional. Maybe he said he can't. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's not allowed to. It would make sense to me that he can't. I it, get it. Greg Ward came over, and again, Greg Ward is not AJ Brown. Not at all. But and that this was even worse. <laughs> this gets worse. So Jesse's just staring at AJ Brown walking on the field. Dude, like the look in his face was like devastation, yeah. right? And he's just staring at him, and, and he and he left. He's he's gone, right? Mm-hmm. And he's just standing, still looking. I was like, buddy, you're gonna miss. Words autograph, like, here, get it, get it on your thing. And he's just standing there, like, not processing. And even though he's, like, got his thing down, like he's got, like, his chain down, uh-huh. he's still looking over, like, no, he's going to come back out. I'm like, no, he's not, no, he's dude. Not. He's not coming <laughs> back out. He does not care, bro. But um, I, I would, he missed Words autograph. Well, that's okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that, really. that's a, that's that was nice of him to sign autographs. Like, he did. It and is. then when he it realized he missed people, he left, came back, signed his autographs. And, uh, you know, that was, that was nice of him. And, again... Craig Ward signs autographs, and it's just like maybe 30 people, balls and stuff that they're just looking uh-huh. to get autograph. AJ Brown signs an autograph for me fucking fighting to get to the front of the exactly. stage. Exactly. Get, that's why I was explaining it to him. stuff happening. So. Either way, you broke his heart. <laughs> just like, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, and you let the whole section down. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when you, like, you know, if you were to run into him at wherever. And, and no, I think you'd be smug anyway. Oh, okay. I do. Okay. He just rubbed me that way, but. I mean, he's a millionaire. They're like, fuck. He, 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 the dude can't take a shit in a Wawa without four dudes sticking a piece of paper on there. Yeah. That you know, sucks. That, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Believe me. I'd probably be the same way. But I like, think if a kid walks up to him in the Wawa and says, Can you sign my jersey? I bet you it's getting signed. He might. He might. But if there are. Well, that was like a thing, though. You know what I mean? Like the kid literally went out of his way and waited all game for his jersey yeah. for you to sign it. And you could have just done it for him. You could have just said, here, he, he talked to the security guards like three times. He goes, you know, go grab that kid's jersey for me. He took his jersey off. He was holding it like this. You know, they could have just thrown him a jersey, signed it, and gave it back to him. Yeah. He had to come over. Come over. I, I got you. I got you. All right. So there's that. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I got that out off my chest. Good. But I know Jesse. And the thing is, like, the only thing that bothers me is it ruined his game. Because when we left there, he's like, I, I like Philly's games better. I think they're more exciting. And I'm like... I'm like, buddy, you were having the time of your life uh-huh. before that let down. Like, right. you know, like, it, It's relax. just tough. You can't expect to get an autograph when you go no, to situations right. like that. That's why I told him, I said, you're not getting A.J. Brown's autograph. I said that earlier before he went down there. Right. And then when the lady says, no, I'm like, no fucking yeah, way. That, no that's fucking when way. it all changes. That's, yeah, no way. Yeah. yeah. Mm, um, I, that's when I thought maybe he was going to get it. Everybody was like, people are leaving. They're like, oh, we're leaving, but I'm letting you know right now my kids are fully invested in your son getting an autograph from AJ Brown. I was like, that's funny. And they were coming from like the other side of the section. Like yeah. I had no idea that yeah. they even knew what was going word, on. Word spreads fast. In yeah. The stands. <laughs> but, um, so I'm, I'm super curious. What is, what is this story about the, us making ourselves look bad? What did we do? Well, all right. Little backstory. It's a fucking preseason game, dude. The uh-huh. crowd was having more fun with each other than we were really watching the game. Sure. Plus there wasn't much to watch in the first half. Mariota is a fucking, slob mm-hmm. like every pass he threw was terrible like it, it's just it was just terrible to watch right. it was really bad football um so nobody's really paying attention and when uh cleveland went down with a neck injury and he wasn't moving on the field okay. I, at least nobody on my side of the field had any idea he went down on the sideline uh-huh. 
right in front of the Eagles bench. Okay. So everybody was standing in front of him. I had no idea anybody was even on the field. I'm like, why are we still sitting here? But you know, anybody that's been to a game that had a wave, you know how long it takes to get a wave going. Yeah. So they were working on that wave. Oh, no. Before the injury. <laughs> well, the wave caught on while he was motionless on the field. And I still had no idea. Like, that's, that's I'm like, like, oh, look, there's a wave going around. And I'm like, woo, right? We're all done. I'm like, yeah, that's a great wave. I've never seen a wave at the Eagles game before. I'm going around. I'm like, yeah, woo. And I'm like, why aren't we fucking playing football? Uh huh. And I'm like, dude, is there a guy down in the field? I was like, oh, shit, they're bringing a cart over, a stretcher? Oh, like, no. oh, shit. I'm like, oh, this is not good. We're doing not. the wave. Yeah, I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> and, it, and I'm even saying, like, you know, you know this is going to be on, like, ESPN, top uh, douchiest moments in uh-huh. fucking football right now. Like, yep. this is another Philly story, how we're doing the wave while guys, like, paralyzed on the field. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm like, we should not be doing this. I'm like, man, this is really sad. Comes around, I'm like, woo, sit back down. <laughs> you, should, you can't not do the wave, though, you know? I don't do that. I was genuinely concerned for the guy. It sounds like it. I was. I was like, this is sad. This is scary. And then I'm like, oh, here we come. Is he all right? But that wave was going. And we weren't watching the game. So a lot of people didn't even really know that there was an injury yeah. on the field. Yeah. So that is like, you know. I mean, it's excusable. It's bad timing more than anything else. <laughs> it was so bad. I'm like, oh, fuck. And, and within like minutes, I, I, I'm like. It wasn't like there was a lull in the action and the crowd's like, well, what are we going to do? Let's yeah. do the wave. <laughs> like you said, it takes yeah. a while to get one going. Right. Yeah. And this was a solid wave by the time I realized it was going on. I'm like, oh, shit, look at this. That's great. It probably but, should have stopped once people realized there was someone hurt on the field. Yeah. 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 I agree. Okay. I agree. And and within a minute, my phone was dead. I was like, Jesse, let me see your phone. He's like, for what? I'm like, just bring up Google. I type in. Eagles injured player uh-huh. and the first because I couldn't even see who it was yeah, and I was like oh, Cleveland was down on the field neck had neck injury while Eagles fans do the wave I'm like oh, ah, okay. that, that didn't take long nope, <laughs> nope of course not <laughs> yeah but yeah the game sucked Tanner McKee's probably has to be the second quarterback yeah has to be. Yeah, he's, he looks great so? yeah okay. accurate he's big he's huge super tall guy man he looks good I like him he's accurate he gets, you know, he's not moves in the pocket. I wonder, he's not a runner, but. I wonder if, uh, I'd have to look at their contract if they have any like real obligation to keep Mariota. Because if he looks, if he really does look that bad and if he doesn't look any better in the next one, what's the point of having him here as your backup? Mariota or yeah. McKay? No, Mariota. Mariota, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I'm curious if, if they would just bag him and just be like. He's guaranteed five million. He's guaranteed five million. So we can still right. cut him. Okay. Howie doesn't overpay for anybody. So yeah, I can burn five million just to get Mariota off your. Well, roster. then make him the third. Yeah, second or third doesn't matter. I was talking all week. No, I was talking all week with people. I mean, we were just bitching and moaning about the game. Well, the fans were chanting, "We want Foles." <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going there. No, we're not touching that. <laughs> we're not touching. You're living that. in the past, man. <laughs> um. No, what I wanted to say was, I, I was like, look, if if Mariota needed to take the field at any any point in the regular season, we're screwed anyway. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter to me who our backup is. I like Tanner. I really do. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, he doesn't fit in I'm the being same. Perfectly honest. I just don't care. If oh, when, when Mariota took off and Randy looked great. If any of them have to enter the game, yeah, our season's over. It is. If if Hertz misses an extended amount of time, or we're relying on any of our backups or anybody else who's out there. Oh, I mean. I hate to say it's not necessarily true, but like I mean, I know it's true on the Hertz aspect, but like our defense is so deep. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I do oh, like our our about. ability to stop them from scoring. I do like that. Sure, you know, sure. You know, we don't need to score a whole lot of you know, points. I said runs. Sorry, still baseball season. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slowly breaking my way back into football season. I feel like Philadelphia has a very unrealistic view of the backup quarterback role because of what happened with Foles and us winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. It does not happen. That, oh, yeah. There's a reason well, that that was such a miracle run. Well, when Foles was our starter under Chip Kelly, I mean, he had a great season. We just two interceptions, 23 and two I or really, something like that. I like, really I mean, don't feel like debating. I really 27 don't feel and two. I was like close. Debating Nick Foles. No, I'm just saying he had a great season. I'm not, I don't, again, I don't think. 
I do think he deserves the opportunity to retire here on a one-day contract. I don't think he That's should be our fine. entire season quarterback. I never even thought that was an, uh, an option. I thought that was more or less like – I thought him saying I want to retire this year was basically saying like, like hey, if the Eagles want to sign me for a day, mm-hmm. I'll retire as an Eagle. I'm totally cool with I that. don't understand why everybody – like I, I didn't expect the conversation to go to should he be our quarterback. Well, like, of course it's going to. It's just – why? What's he done since then? Half like, of our fan base is brain dead and think that he's the greatest quarterback to ever play the I would game. Take Matt Ryan over. I would no. I don't want either of them. <laughs> I'm just saying over him. I would take right now. Neither. Like, They're basically the same worthless piece of I trash. I had to choose this year. I'm getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch either of them play last year? Um. No. They were horrible. Yeah, horrible. We've done this before. I've, you, somebody made me go and pull up Nick Foles' stat line from it might the have been games me. that he played yeah. last year for the Colts. Yeah, atrocious. Really, absolutely atrocious. The no, guy I'm sure. can't play anymore. Yeah, nah. All right, I agree. I'm not saying. Thank you, Nick Foles. You got us a Super Bowl. You I'm not here saying football. that we want Nick Foles. Or I want Nick Foles. I'm just saying I didn't even I expect know. the conversation to make it that far. Like, <laughs> I thought it was just a one day contract. Like, retired. I, I saw a certain radio station here talking run about? a poll as to who should be our backup quarterback. And Nick, yeah, Foles well, that certain there. radio station is fucking and dumb. Like dude. Thirty percent of fans are voting for Nick Foles, and the other thirty percent said, "Shut the fuck up. Who cares? Like, you know, why are we even having this conversation?" Yeah. The other thirty percent. So 60% are fans and 40% just hate them and listen because they hate them. Maybe. <laughs> we have a couple of those. <laughs> yeah, fucking A right. At least one loser. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Any other thoughts on the, uh, the preseason? That game? No. I mean, aside from I mean, the second half, they look good. I, I hate that we lost a lot of players. Was there something I wanted to ask you? Was it being there? Was there anybody who made an impression on you? Someone who stood out with their play on the field? Um, yeah, Nolan Smith until he got a little shoulder injury, but I mean, it's nothing. Yeah, it didn't sound like anything was too serious. Yeah, right? Nolan Smith looked good. Um, I really didn't, I don't think, I don't even know if Jalen Carter played any snaps, but I was trying to look for him, like where we were sitting, all I could see was Jordan Davis, the dude's a goddamn monster, <laughs> you know, all the guys that were on the field looked, looked awesome, um, uh, defensively, you know who? Oh, it sucks because I had such higher hopes for him, dude. Like Jordan Hazelwood, like I really expected them to be like a sneaky come in. Like yeah, you were excited about him, I was, and he's had maybe three passes hit his hands in the two games and just drop them. Yeah. No, uh, just to you mentioned Carter. I don't see him in the uh, staff. He was dressed. Box, yeah, he was dressed, but I don't think he really played. He, like I said, he didn't show up on any of the... Yeah, uh, Tanner McKee, guys. dude. That's all I can really say. Like, Tanner McKee, he stood out. Made, uh, Nick Morrow looked really good. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll watch the next one. Maybe. Yeah. Probably not, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for week one. And Chick Elliott looked okay. Yeah. I mean, what else do I say? <laughs> no, I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you were there. Oh, you know who, you know who fucking had the best hands on the field? Who? Cool. Jalen Hurts. Oh, I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you see how he burnt the dude at the end of the game? Nah. Oh, that's the dude's fault, first of all. Like, so, right, it was right at the end of the game anyway. He caught the ball. Everybody's like fucking cheering, going nuts, chanting right. MVP, MVP. He turns around, chucks the ball into the crowd. Right. That's all that I saw. Yeah. Well, running off the field mm-hmm. towards the tunnel, some guy was like, Jalen, and throws him his football. Yeah. And he catches the football one handed. And then fucking launches it into the crowd <laughs> to somebody else. He was like, "What the fuck?" Right. It was like his signed football, like yeah, from other people and shit. Yeah, it was like his signatures were on. Yeah, <laughs> and he just launched. Hurts it. caught it and just fucking sent it deep. And dude catches the ball like, that's, "Oh shit!" <laughs> that's the risk you run when you start throwing stuff onto the field. Yep. You yeah, never you're a dumb fault. <laughs> if it leaves your hand, it is no longer it's yours. No longer yours. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> but other than that, it was a it was a fun time. Yes, I'm just glad you yeah, enjoyed Jesse's it. Jesse's first game. So hopefully he... I got to into a regular season game. I know. I told him, dude, this is nothing. Yeah. Third, third down, we're just sitting there. I'm like, yo, third yeah. down a regular season game, you're on your feet, you're smashing your yeah. chair. You got to take him... Yeah. You got to take him to a game this year and let yeah. him really experience. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Corey's buying tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>